Okay, so we're going to work out percentages of whole numbers. And the question we're going to ask is 12% of 50. Okay, so just as we've done before, wherever you see the off sign, it means multiply. Wherever you see percentage, it means 12 over 100. And wherever you see a number, it's just much easier if you call it 50 over 1, which is exactly the same because the amount of times 1 will go to 50 is 50 times. Okay, so the question now is 12 over 100 multiplied by 50 over 1. Now, if you imagine that that line continues all the way across there, whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. So what I'm going to say is that I know that 50 and 100 are related, because 50 will go into 100 twice. So I can now say that becomes 1 and that becomes 2. And all we're doing really is just making the numbers smaller so they're a bit easier to multiply. And then I'm going to say, well, I've got... 12 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 1. And what I can do is say that that 12 over 2 is also related. So that 2 will go to 12 six times. So now the answer to the question is 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. So what I've done is I've worked out that 12% of 50 is 6 over 1 or 6. And this method uses cross multiplication. What I've done, I've worked out the exact number, which is 12% of 50. So now I'm going to work out something slightly different, but I'm going to work it out as a fraction because it's just much easier to deal with. So 15% of 12. Okay. And just the same as I've done before, of becomes multiply, percent becomes a fraction. 15 over 100, and the number becomes 12 over 1. And just the same as before, imagine that line continues across there. Whatever we do to the top, we've got to do to the bottom as well. So I know 15 and 100, if I divide both of them by 5, I can make the numbers a little bit smaller. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 100 divided by 5 is 20. And also, I've got 12 and 20 there, and just because I want to make the numbers smaller, because they're a bit easier to deal with, 12 and 20 can both be divided by 4. So 12 divided by 4 is 3, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the question now I've got is 3 times 3, which is 9, 5 times 1, which is 5. And if you want, you can change that then to a whole number, which is 1 and 4 fifths. So, a whole number plus a fraction. So, the question 15% of 12 is 1 and 4 fifths. If you wanted to, you could convert that to a decimal. And if you look at one of the other videos, that will show you how to convert fractions to decimals.